Hi guys, I'm Vince from Dealing Philippines. In this video, I will teach you on how to mesh the Eagle Pro AI family. Pero teka, ano nga ba ang Wi-Fi mesh? The Wi-Fi mesh allows you to extend the wireless coverage of your home network and for you to enjoy seamless connectivity. Perfect solution ito kung ikaw ay may problema sa Wi-Fi coverage ng bahay mo. So for example, if you have like 2 to 3 story house, tapos hindi umaabot yung Wi-Fi signal sa different floors, or malawak yung bahay na meron ka na hindi umaabot sa garage or kitchen or other location ng bahay, perfect itong Eagle Pro AI family na Eagle Pro AI family is not your typical Wi-Fi 6 router because it has artificial uh, intelligence or AI. So, meron siyang tinatawag na AI, Wi-Fi, AI mesh, AI traffic, AI assistant, and AI partner. For more details about Eagle Pro AI feature, just click the link on the description. At Eagle Pro AI na available here sa Philippines are the R15, ito po yung itsura ng R15 natin, Smart Router, M15, okay, so it is available on 2 packs and 3 packs, these are mesh system, and of course the E15 or ang ating mesh extender. In this video, I'll show you how easy it is kung gaano po ka-simple i-mesh ang any Eagle Pro AI pack. Tara po, simula na po natin. For this scenario, ang gagamitin ko pong main router is the R15. So, ito po si R15. So, depende po yan. Uh, if ever meron na kayong M15 na working, uh, po pwede rin natin siya i-mesh to a different uh, AI product. So, here, working na po ang ating uh, internet connection sa R15. So, bali, ang gagawin po natin is imi-mesh po natin ang M15. So, ito pong M15 na to, imi-mesh po natin dito sa ating master uh, router. Tsaka, ito pong ating uh, E15 or extender. Imi-mesh din po natin siya dito sa ating R15. We have actually two ways on how to mesh the Eagle Pro AI. Number one, po pwede po tayong gumamit ng Eagle Pro uh, app na uh, gagamitin natin ang ating uh, mobile phone. Then, ang second uh, uh, second uh, way naman na para ma-mesh natin is pwede rin po tayong gumamit ng WPS setup or Wi-Fi protected setup. Or ipipindutin lang natin yung WPS button sa ating device at magkoconnect na po sila. Okay, so i-open na po natin ang ating Eagle Pro uh, AI app uh, para ma-check na working na po or meron na po akong existing na R15. So, kailangan lang po natin mag-login sa ating uh, Eagle Pro AI app gamit ang ating email address na ni-register. Okay? Login lang po ako. So, as you can see, nandiyan na po or working na po ang aking uh, R15 working na po siya. So, i-click ko lang po yung R15 para makita natin kung merong existing mesh device na naka uh, set up sa akin. So, ayun no. Kita natin sa lower uh, left ng illustration or diagram. No? So, zero po yung ating extender. Click po natin. Then, yan. Nakalagay dyan or naka-indicate na wala pa po tayong mesh device na uh, ginagamit. Okay, so ang una po natin i-add is itong ating M15. So katulad na nasabi natin kanina, two ways pwede po natin silang image. So number one, via app. the number two, via WPS po. So for the M15, gagawin po natin is via app. So ang una step natin of course is to power up the M15. Okay, so ayun po yung pinakamadaling way ano, or pinakamabilis na paraan is i-power up muna natin siya. So, ito po, kung makikita nyo, meron akong uh, outlet dito, no? Yun. Pinower on ko na siya. Then, hintayin lang po natin na mag-blinking uh, orange yung ating LED lights. Okay? So, yun po siya. So, just uh, put it here. Put it aside. Then, kailangan na po natin i-open yung app natin para ma-add na po natin itong ating 
uh, M15. So, yun. Open na po natin yung app. Alright. So, as you can see, no, zero pa po siya. So, i-click lang po natin yung plus sign sa upper right. Ayun, no. I-click lang po natin siya. Yun. Then, kailangan natin i-scan yung QR code. So, wait, ha. Yun. Scan natin. Diba? Then, uh, piliin natin yung extend by wireless network. Ano? Siyempre, i-extend natin siya. Okay. Then, uh, follow lang po natin yung procedure ano? dito sa ating uh, wizard. Then, papipiliin tayo if you want to install it or mesh it wired or wireless. Pwede siyang may cable o wala. So, select natin yung wireless. Okay. Then, ito, nagawa na po natin ito. Diba? Na-power up na natin yung ating uh, M15. So, you can just click on that. So, ang ginagawa po niya ngayon is kumoconnect siya dito sa ating M15, yung Wi-Fi natin. Okay, para makonfigure siya, no? Okay, so ayan po. Uh, click lang natin save. Ito, copy niya lang yung wireless settings nito ng ating R15 or master dito sa ating uh, mesh or ating. So ayan, uh, maghintay lang tayo. Magre-reboot na po ang ating M15. So hintay lang po. Okay, so as you can see, no, nag-reboot na po yung ating uh, M15. Then, uh, just to make sure na dapat uh, may white light na po ito. So as you can see, no, white na po ang ating uh, M15. So meaning naka-mesh na siya together with the uh, R15. So as you can see, just follow the wizard sa app and it's very simple to configure or to mesh the M15 to the R15. Okay, now, for us to check na nasa extenders na yung ating M15, open lang po ulit natin yung ating Eagle Pro app. Okay. Ayan, click lang natin siya. Alright. Then, dun sa lower left ulit, no? dun sa ating diagram, ayun no? So, kita natin may number 1 na siya. So, meaning nandudoon na po yung ating M15. So, successfully mesh na po ang ating M15 to the uh, R15 uh, master router. So, pwede po natin siya i-click. Then, para ma-identify natin siya, no? pwede natin palitan yung pangalan para madali natin ma-identify. Siguro ito ilalagay ko na lang to bedroom 1. Para ma-identify natin na ito yung mesh ko sa any name that you want, you can do it. You know? So, uh, you can uh, custom name the extenders or sleeve extenders. Okay, so ang ating uh, next device naman is the E15 or, or yung ating extender mesh. So, katulad na nabanggit natin kanina, may two ways tayo para i-mesh itong ating mga Eagle Pro AI. Yung through the app, which is yung ginawa natin dito via scanning the QR code ano, and following the wizard kung paano siya i-mesh sa ating R15. So, ito namang E15 para maiba tayo. Ano, gagawin naman natin yung WPS or Wi-Fi Protected Setup. Ito po yung pinipindot lang yung WPS button na located sa ating mga uh, device. Sa uh, R15, meron po siyang WPS button uh, sa likod, pati itong E15. And of course, ito sa harapan naman yung ating E15. So, paano siya gawin? So, of course, unang-una, kailangan muna natin siyang i-power up. So, ito po yung aking uh, nakita natin, ano? So, isasaksak lang po natin siya. Okay. Good. Okay. Then, after natin po siyang um, after natin siyang ma-plug in, ito po siya, ano? Ayan. Ako po nakikita. Ang unang WPS button na ipipress natin is yung R15 or yung master. Ngayon, dito sa likod, okay, ito po yung tinatawag na WPS button. Ito po siya, nasa likod po siya. Parang small button, physical button siya. So, I'll just uh, press and hold this. Makikita nyo. Alright. Okay. 
And uh, after pressing this one, you need to press the WPS button on the extender itself. So, ito po yung WPS. So press and hold siguro roughly around 3 seconds then release it. So ganun lang po actually. So again, ipipress nyo lang po una yung ating master router, yung WPS button sa likod niya. Then uh, after a few seconds, you go to the extender and press and hold it for 3 uh, seconds as well. Then hitayin lang po natin. Ang kailangan po nating ilaw dito is dapat mag color white po siya. Then, dapat magkaroon po ng signal bars po dito. Okay? So, tara po. Uh, let's wait for a few minutes na mag-connect sila automatically gamit ang WPS. Okay, ba? So, as you can see sa ating E15, white light na po siya dito kung mapapansin nyo. And yung kanyang uh, signal strength. So, very important po itong signal strength. Ano? Because dito po malalaman kung gaano kaganda yung signal na naaabot niya from your master. So, recommended at least 2 bars po ito. So, since ako, katabi ko lang yung ating R15, 3 bars po siya. So, we're done. Ano? So, pwede mo na itong tanggalin at pwede mo na siyang ilipat to any place at home na gusto mong i-extend yung coverage. Again, make sure na meron kang magandang uh, bars or uh, signal strength sa inyong extender. So, paano po ma-check? Uh, check ulit natin sa ating Eagle Pro app na na-add na po ang ating e Right, so open agad natin yung ating Eagle Pro app, ano? So ayan. So kanina tandaan niyo, isa lang yung ating extender, ano? So click lang po natin siya. Dapat dalawa na po, you know. So as you can see again sa ating extender on the lower uh, left ng diagram, click lang po natin. So nandoon na po, dalawa na po yung. So andiyan na po si yung pinalitan natin kanina na M15 tsaka si R15. So again, para maganda no, palitan din natin yung name niya. To siguro bedroom to naman para madali natin ma-identify kung saan tayo nakakonect or anong mesh yung ginagamit na. Lagay natin siguro bedroom to. Okay. Then, i-back lang po natin siya. Yun. Right. So, as you can see, we are done. Ano? We successfully meshed the Eagle Pro AI family. So, katulad ng binanggit natin kanina, kung pwede nyo rin po, let's say, yung main router po natin is yung M15. Kung pwede rin po yun. And sa example ko, kung pwede rin po na R15. Or, kung may R15 ka, diba? And gusto mo ulit another R15, kung pwede rin po yun. So, uh, you can mix and match the Eagle Pro family. To learn how to set up the Eagle Pro R15, which is this router, or the M15, one, you can just click on the link of the description box. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Again, I'm Vince from Healing Philippines. Till the next video. Bye!